All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, let's have our next conversation um, about NFL uh, Week 7. We've got some serious matchups going on, obviously, um, that are going to be really nice to bet on for some people, so we can talk about that and certain spreads and whatnot. Um, let's get right into it. How about the Jets and Patriots? The Patriots are home hosting the Jets. Uh, what do we guys? What do we think about that matchup? Who who do you think's taking that game, and are they covering? Uh, what is it? Ten and a half point spread in favor of New England. What is it? Uh, I think yeah. it's ten and a half. Um, I think the Pats are gonna spank the Jets. Honestly, they're getting spanked. Yeah, it's an official spanking by Zach. Zach declared it. Both teams are in three right now. I think ten and a half is kind of high. Anything could really happen in that game, even though you know Pats are expected to take it. I don't think the, I don't think the Jets will win. But if you're talking about like, you know, will they cover? I think the Jets can keep it close. Their defense is pretty, is pretty good. Um, Their defense is fine, but when they're on the field for 25, 30 minutes, like, I think if they if they could run the ball like they did last week, they'll definitely be able to keep it close. Yeah, the Pats don't have win. the best defense either, though. Yeah, the Pats do not have the best defense. That is for sure. Yeah, well, their offense is a little better than ours. It's a lot better, but, I mean, I, based on the spread, I think 10.5 is kind of high. Yeah. I'm uh, not... If I were, if, if for gamble, betting purposes, I would, I would take the Jets, but for, like, to actually win the game, I think they're going to win Where is the game, Gillette? Yeah. Yes. I mean, in terms of uh, the, here's what I think the Jets have going for them right now. Uh, both teams are three and three. Um, everything is on the line right now. Every everyone in the NF in the AFC East, it's on the line for everyone right now. They're all on level playing fields. Everyone thought that the Patriots are going to be amazing. If they can go into Gillette Stadium and steal one, which uh, we all know that any, anything is possible in the NFL. It, there's no no such thing as a free lunch. Um, you know, boom, the Jets really begin to establish themselves with some credibility without, um, you know, all the star players that, you know, we at least thought made up their team and now are injured for the rest of the season. So I think that there's a real drive for them to want to play as, as tough um, as they possibly can and, and really tough this game out. Um, that's what I think I have going for them. Does anyone agree with that? You know they're, you know they're definitely not afraid of the Patriots. You know, Rex is always confident playing them. They've won in and you know Rex is definitely studying his ass off. I also I also know that the Jets never win at Gillette ever. No, come on, they won in the playoffs two years ago. Zach, come on, give him a break. Two years ago. I'm just saying, come on, you got to. I mean, yeah, they they're not the same team, but anyone can. You, we just saw Arizona. We thought they were unstoppable. Who they just lose to Buffalo? I mean, like there are, there are teams that go down. The, I never thought Arizona was unstoppable the, at all. I guess I, that's a bad comparison, but I mean, you know what I'm saying. That there's the the Patriots. I think the s- Patriots are definitely win, but I don't think that they're gonna cover their spread. I don't think they're covering their spread. Let's get let's get a consensus vote on who's on who's who's if they're covering the spread or not. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that the Jets, um, you know, are within ten and a half points, and um, you know, and the Pats don't cover. So that's my vote. What do you guys think? Jets, Jets lose by less than 10.5. Jets lose by less than 10.5. All right, very good. I say they get smoked. Cool. <laughs> you saying they get smoked. I, I said before, it's either smoke or they are, they're going to keep it close or they're getting demolished. Uh, but let's, yeah, move it, let's move it to... More than three scores? Yeah, let's... let's re- what? What did you say, Mike? More than three scores? Ah, uh, Nick. Honestly, potentially, I it's gonna be it's gonna, it's not gonna be a game. Um, I just don't I don't see it like the the, the Pats really hasn't uh, been the Pats thus far this season. Um, I just don't think the Jets are, are, are a very talented team at all right now. I think we're missing some some key guys, and I don't think that Sanchez can handle the pressure right now. So, um, and there's no reason to think that he can. On a couple good balls in the last couple games. <laughs> But Tim Tebow, that's he's there to save the day, question, right? Question of the hour, yes. <laughs> you guys, look what I'm writing. T- right, wait, can we talk about um, Mania? The first game of the week, San Fran and Seattle. Yeah. 
Yeah. Let's let's talk about what's easily I think the be- the game of the week right now. You got a young Seattle team that's looking to prove something. Is San Francisco at home? Who's at home in that game? San Fran. Yeah, San Fran's at home and they're favored by seven. Oh wow! I think I think Seattle I think Seattle covers that. Uh, I think Seattle. I think Seattle will. I think Seattle has a chance to to pull off an upset. Honestly, they're trying. They're out there trying to prove that what they're worth right now. True, but I feel like San Fran needs to step up their game and prove themselves after last week as well. Very and good, home. Rob. I agree completely with that point. They've got to retaliate. They've got to. Uh, they've got to come back and retaliate harder this week after their shellacking last week. You guys like that word? Also. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a divisional game, and um, Seattle only really plays well at home. So I think San Fran's gonna definitely cover that seven. Yeah, I think though with, San Fran as well. I think with the seven point spread, though, you might be better off buying the half point, getting at six and a half. Then you know, I feel like they can win by a touchdown, and then you end up pushing. Maybe I just think San Fran's D is not. Own Russell Wilson in that offense, honestly. What about Seattle? What about Seattle? I think they play much better at home. I think that Seattle crowd really, really uh, revs them up. I think they're much better at home. I don't have much confidence in uh, Seattle this week. Yeah, I mean, Zach, that's a great point. Seattle's uh, home field advantage is uh, key with them. Um, but, you know, without a doubt, I think that divisional matchup. You've got San Fran, which I think everyone coming into the season thought they were a lock to take that home, which they probably will in the end. By the end of the season, they'll be on top of that division. You've got a young Seattle team that is looking to uh, show their worth and um, you know show them that they're looking to be reckoned with. Right, they're a team to be reckoned with right now. All right, so should we get a consensus going? Yeah, who are they? Who winning or losing by? What's what's everyone think? Let's throw out your right. answer. San Fran. San Fran plus seven? San Fran. Uh, you know, I think you guys did convince me it's going to be San Fran. <laughs> I started off the conversation thinking it was going to be Seattle, but I think you guys got me. All right, let's throw out uh, another few games. Who's got Who's got another one? That's what Vamos for, buddy. What's up? That's what Vamos for, exactly. Giving other uh, How about Buffalo, Tennessee? Buffalo's favorite three, and it's at Buffalo. I like Buffalo in that matchup. For sure, Tennessee is Tennessee's a disaster. Chris Johnson is a disaster. Tennessee's a disaster that beat Pittsburgh last week. Yeah, that, that, that spread kind of seems oh. like too good. They that could make a sucker bet. Didn't they luck out though a little bit, Zach? Like, didn't they have a crazy late game comeback against Pittsburgh? Like, Pittsburgh should have won. They missed a field goal, Pittsburgh, to win the game, didn't they? It was like a thirty-yard chip shot, right? Uh, you know, I'm not really sure, but um. Either way, I mean, they hung with them, and Pittsburgh's, you know, they're banged up, but they're a pretty good team. Yeah. All the yeah. models out also, again. I don't know. I think Matt Hasselback is uh, he's a really decent backup quarterback, and I don't think he's, you know, he's a vet. I don't think he's going to he's gonna really get cleaned up by Buffalo. I think at the very least it'll be a very close. I think Tennessee, I, I agree with Michael, it could be a soccer bet. Buffalo's got a bad secondary also. I mean, Sanchez threw for three touchdowns against them. I mean, Tennessee does have good receivers. So what are we taking? Buffalo? Anyone agree with the statement I just made in the text chat? (laughs) Close. (laughs) Hasselbeck is... That guy's got to retire, man. They like can't even. They have, I don't know. They got bad luck that Tennessee Titans. Not that I'm a Jets fan. We have the worst. But like, Chris Johnson's miserable these days. Their quarterback gets injured every week. Uh, locker. I don't know. Uh, you're asking for picks. I'm going with Buffalo on that one. I think I'm gonna go with the upset pick, Tennessee. You be baby. You be. That's right. Michael Kleiman knows uh-huh. nothing about that. <laughs> Where'd you? It's only three points. Very nice. Well, your your actual. We'll save that for another conversation. But your Hoosiers basketball team is going to be good. But we'll keep it. We'll keep the conversation NFL today. Um. Anyone else got another game that they want to throw? Indian. 
Indianapolis home against yeah. Cleveland. Yeah, that's Indianapolis is favorite now. three. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll cover that. Who who's home? Who's home? Rob. Okay. Indy's home. Ooh. Yep. I I I'm a fan. Cleveland plays hard, man. Without a doubt, there's no doubt about. It. They play hard. Um. Luck is luck is either on or off. Uh, you never know. It's true. Luck is. Rookie rookie. I like Indy there. So do I. You like Indy there. Well, I uh, uh, there's a reason why I don't bet that much, but I don't know. I um I think Cleveland plays hard. They got their first win last week, and I think they try and build off of it, honestly. And you know, I don't th- I don't see Indianapolis as a team that's like, oh, we got you know whooped last week, so let's let's bring it home this week and get a W. Like I don't know, they're not uh, internally. I don't think they're like that type of team just yet, and have that sort of like moral uh, strength, you know, internal strength yet. So. I'm gonna go Cleveland on that one. If Trent Richardson plays, he's a beast. So that's that's what I'll put it on, and I think he's gonna play. I'll take Indy, but on a, on a more like serious note, what do you guys think about RG three as a first first go around against that Giants pass rush? Now that's a game that I think is worth speaking about and finishing on to to conclude. Um, that is gonna be a game uh, worth watching. Um. Wow, RG three is a monster. I think that's that's pretty much a fifty fifty, depending on RG three how he plays. But it's at New York. I mean, five and a half spread. That's kind of iffy. I might have to go Giants just because I'm a big Giants fan, but could go either way. I think Giants take that game for sure. I mean, like Redskins want to prove something, but Giants, in my mind, could easily be the best team in the NFL. So they're gonna tell that rookie to to sit quiet. I think, right? Gonna be running around a lot. Yeah, he. Uh, well, I don't know. They they couldn't good. stop Vic and Philly. No, I mean not not the good RG three running like the uh, like the running away from Pierre Paul and Tuck. I think they're gonna kill him. Tuck is completely invisible. Haven't seen the guy the entire season. Pierre Paul just had a good game last week. Does it hasn't done much? I mean, you know they're. They're not, they're not the same team, and RG3 is kind of scary. It's, I think it's, it's going to be interesting. True. They, they, they have they have not been the same pass, pass rush this year, but I'm sure they'd love to break out against the uh, you know, the high-profile rookie quarterback. Yeah, but listen, the Giants always have trouble with the with the Redskins. That's yeah. no secret. Every year, trouble taking down the Redskins, no matter how bad they are. The, uh, the five-and-a-half spread to me is questionable. I take the Giants and all I mean. I don't bet against that front line. I'm going. I'm going Giants on a game-winning Eli drive. That's what I'm going. I think Redskins keep it real close. They have a lead late in the fourth quarter, and Eli, uh, you know, shows what he's all made of, and and just proves the the longtime doubters, and now just establishes himself as you know that top five quarterback, and tells RG three to take a seat. Game-winning drive, Eli. That's what I'm I saying. I think. Uh... I think the Giants win the game, but for the spread, I take I would take the Redskins, and I don't even know what it is, but I take the over in that game. I think it's going to be a shootout, and uh, Eli wins it, like you said, in the fourth quarter. All right, very nice. Uh, any any other games that you guys want to throw out there? Otherwise, you know, we'll conclude uh, our second Vombo here that I think went well. Did we, did we help you guys out, Zach and Rob? Rob, Zach, you have any questions on a game you want to get some perspective on? Uh, yeah, that Jacksonville Oakland game is gonna be is gonna be a real heated match don't, right there. Don't touch that game, Zach. Do not bet on that game. Come on, man. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. You're gonna, gonna bet gonna on that one, Maxie. You're gonna bet on that game, man. Who? Did, that's like a coin flip. Who's gonna win? There's no. There's. It's like. Those are the worst games you want to bet on. You don't even. There's no telling what the hell's gonna happen. Oakland's gonna win, though. Oakland. Try, try to win. Do you have any like substantial evidence? To, like, give me a reason why they're gonna win. Like, it anyone could it, Jacksonville could easily take it. There's no telling they who's gonna win that game. It's like they almost beat Atlanta last weekend. I, I don't put that much worth in that. Detroit Chicago would be a more interesting. Detroit Chicago is a very interesting game right there. That's, mon- that's Monday night also. That is an interesting game, Rob. 
If I had another rank point yep. to give you, I would give it to you. That is a very... I like, um... Son of a gun. I know you guys will probably freak out, but I think St. Louis might give Green Bay a nice Harris freak at home. I like that defense a lot. St. Louis at home. Yeah, they're really good. They're just like Seattle. They're really good at home. The defense is really good. They're fast, young. I don't know. I mean, I think they can give Green Bay a nice, a nice little challenge. Who is this again? Who's Green, play, Green Bay playing against that? St. Louis. St. Louis is home. St. Louis is home. Yeah, I mean, if if Green Bay goes back to how they looked two weeks ago and three weeks ago and, uh, you know, looking like an average team versus the elite team that we just saw last week, then, yeah, St. Louis has given some teams some problems this year. So I could see it happening, definitely. It's got to be who, which Green Bay team shows up, right? Exactly. That's the story. So what about that Monday night game? Monday night game. That Monday night game is Detroit-Chicago. Chicago's home. Their favorite six. I don't know. Um, that's that's really tough because Detroit has not played well at all this season. Chicago it depends if they show up to play or not. I probably take Chicago with that six spread. Um, just hoping that cover goes off, but never know. He could probably throw like eight picks in the game. Eight Cutler though. I, I'm so waiting for. He's like frustrating to watch him and him and Rivers are like really frustrating to watch. Dude, for I, me. I hate but watching Philip Rivers. That's the worst quarterback to watch. I hate watching. It's Phillip not Rivers. even that he's that bad. It's that he cries and he complains and he throws temper tantrums on the sideline when he does the wrong thing out there. Dude, he's miserable. Oh, Dude, he's he's off. got such a weird throwing release. It's so weird. He like he like half half arms. It. It's like I don't even know how he gets the ball out of his off his he's like got a, where he, he's got a gimp. He's got a gimp. He's a chicken wing man. <laughs> chicken wing. I think I think Detroit <laughs> takes that. I think you know they had the, the huge comeback win last week against Philly. They're a good team, just playing poorly. I think that's gonna uh, that win last week's gonna uh, set them off, and they're gonna go on a run. Yeah, no. Totally. I bet you do, Mister. I relied on Stafford for my whole season. Hey, I mean now they got a, they got a running back now, so you know. Who's the running? Who, who's playing running back for them now? What's his name? Lashore. Running back. Lashore. Oh come on now, man. I don't know. I think they came off the bye week. You get a down week. vote for that, Michael. You get a down vote. <laughs> I don't know. Here's for my up vote. If you wanna from that from that Monday night game, start Devin Hester in fantasy. He always scores on Monday nights. Sure. Yeah. Especially in our league where it's eight points for a reception. That's a big. That's a big. Uh, Change right there. Yep. All right, Rob just yeah, Rob just yeah, submit yeah, Rob yeah, just yeah, submitted yeah, a community yeah, question. Yeah, For the tiebreaker, which team? Which team gets, gets most, most points, points and which team gets least points for this week? Um, I mean the Jets could easily be there on the least if they don't if the Jets play like garbage, which could clearly happen here. Uh, they just get. Pat's D is not that strong. That's the only thing. Yeah, that our offense is miserable, dude. Sean Green, that was a fluke last week. That guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> he is miserable. I if there's a guy that I hate watching, it's Sean Green. Okay. You, you would take the Pats for at least. Dude, the Pat. I. I mean, Jet. We, we were talking about me saying the the the. I'm on Zach's bandwagon from earlier. You, Zach, you have a way of, of having me come to the other side. Uh, I like I like Arizona. Arizona having the least points this week, going against Minnesota at home. And they're going back to Skelton at QB. That's gonna yeah, be interesting. Yeah. Um. And the most points, I might go with. I know this is crazy. Ray Lewis injured. Um. I might go with Houston at home. Johnson back this week. They got Ladar- Ladarius Webb's out too. And look. Darius Webb is out. Yeah, they got issue. I'm going with Houston yeah, for the most He might points. play, but Haloti not is hurt also. Houston's got, out. Houston's got. They, haven't determined, they haven't determined it yet, but he, he hasn't practiced yet. Houston, Houston, Houston's going to bounce back. Baltimore's got a really tough road ahead of them with those injuries, man. That is like, it's got to be bad. If you got to feel bad for Baltimore Ravens fans, they probably thought they were going to the to the Super Bowl before these injuries, right? Especially with the flat 
think that every year. Yeah. But I mean, you know, they 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 played really well last year in uh in the AFC Championship game. I mean, like they're 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 legit. They're good, but they never get it done. They're, yeah. I mean, uh You're right. They they haven't gotten it done in a while. I mean, but look Flacco looks like the real deal. Um I think I personally think I'm not I'm not a hater on Flacco. I like Flacco. Um no, I like Flacco, Flacco, Flacco too. Flacco, you can't. You, how, how can you hit on Flacco, man? That guy, like, he puts up stats, and he gets wins. He's like definitely makes a name for himself. And like the the few years that you know they had some some mess ups, uh, you know they were playing against the Pittsburgh Steelers, and they, the Steelers won two Super Bowls. While I think while he was there, right? Like since Flacco's rookie season, I think. Uh, <laughs> Hester just got the miss. nice. Michael. Michael. Good one. Making pickups, you know. Honestly, this it's fine that we talk about this. Like uh, Zach, how do you like that Felix Jones pickup kid in our weekly matchup this week? You know why I'm loving it because now I move up to the third waiver. That's why I love it. That's why you love it. And but my, guess what? I'm a other, whoop. My other league, I have Demarco. I hopped on the Felix ad real quick in that one. You know what I'm really upset about though? You want to hear something really unfortunate that I kind of uh, f myself into? Um, Last night in my other league, I put down a waiver for um, for Skelton because I had the number four for Skelton and for uh, Felix Jones, and then I put in a third for Montario Hardesty because I have Trent Richardson, and like they were saying, maybe he won't play. And like the waiver went through, I didn't get Skelton or Felix Jones. I got Montario Hardesty, and I wake up to news that Trent Richardson is practicing, and so now I wasted my fourth waiver, which would have been the one. On um, Ontario Hardesty. <laughs> Why do you even want Skelton? Uh, because it's a two QB league and QBs are essential. So I was gonna get my fourth QB on my team and just use it as trade bait. Got it. Yeah. All right, guys. Any other uh, NFL Week Seven games we want we want to throw out there on Vonvo? Um, you know, get some interesting perspectives. I think this is a good conversation. We You're got all master debaters in my view. We're all master debaters, right? Likewise, Likewise Rob. Like, <laughs> awesome. No, very good. Thanks. Uh, thanks for having the discussion. I liked it. Um, all right, guys. So we'll talk later. And uh, thanks a lot. Speak. Speak soon. All right. Later.